Maheshwaranath Babaji, you belong to the Nath Sampradaya in name, but you actually didn't belong to any Sampradaya. He trained me up for three and a half years, three years. Then off and on, we, I visited him often. So I had seen certain things in this person who didn't even have a pair of shoes, no banner, no YouTube, no blazing advertisements, no political affiliations. He was a man. And I lived with him and kind of absorbed the essence of the teachings. Then for the first time I realized, oh, there was so much wisdom in this country. You know? And from some experiences I learned that since his mind was peaceful, he spread peace wherever he went. Once, when we were in uh, Rishikesh, in, in the hills, some of the Goswamis, you know this Goswamis, this uh, Vaishnavite orders, sannyasins, with all the Namas, they came to see Babaji, and I called him Babaji, and said that, uh, we need help from you. He said, kya hai? He said, uh, there is a wild elephant uh, which is around here. And it's already killed some sadhus and so on. Um, upper reaches of Rishikesh and Chilka and these areas, they still are elephants, reduced. So Babaji, his first reaction as usual is, so my kya karunga? What, kis, what should I do? Go tell the forest department. They said, all that is okay, but please help. Hmm. He said, okay. Aap log jaiye. He said, you go. So that night, at midnight, he woke me up and said, let's go out. I said, Babaji, he said, come on, chalo. He said, Hindi, mostly between us. We went to the top of a rock between Nilkant and Rishikesh. It was full moon. And while I was, there was a big rock, Babaji sat there and I sat near him. And while he was standing, we were surrounded by trees. And at the back, Across the valley, I saw a leopard walking. Leopards also have become less now. So, there was a leopard going there. And uh, he, he turned and looked at us and I, my heart was in my mouth because I thought, what if it springs this way? It went off. And I was wondering, why are we sitting here? It's nothing. I never connected it with the elephant, you know. And then, next to us, the bushes that were on the right side, you know, these elephants, they can stand silently without moving a twig if they want. There was this rogue fellow standing there, the same guy. He was wondering, what are these two brave fellows doing here in the full moonlight? Then suddenly he trumpeted and crashed through the trees. I said, my life is over. Really, I said, even though I had faith in <laughs> Babaji, I said, this is the end. It came rushing through. And then just a few feet before the rock, it came to a grinding halt. Babaji didn't move. He was just sitting there with his knees down and his trunk up. And stopped. And he trumpeted. So, uh, I asked Babaji, what is this guy? Nothing. So he got up. He said, Chalo mere I said, I'm not coming. He said, Chalo. We caught my hand. We went, it's, it was here. We went near him. And the Babaji went to the elephant's ears. I know it's unbelievable, but ears and said, Is this the way elephants behave? <laughs> Killing innocent people. <laughs> Hindi me, he said. Hati thodi aise karte hai. Sanyasi logon ko maar dete hai. Aisa nahi karte hai. Shant ho ja. Nothing. It was just there. And then he told me to go and do pranams to the elephant. That was the toughest thing. Because he said, this is divinity in the form of an elephant. It can be in the form of an ant. It can be anything. So I went with closed eyes, did pranams, and it, it touched my head with its trunk for a minute. When I again thought I'm in danger, and then it got up and left. I think the man's heart was so full of peace 
that even animals kind of sense this, that this is not a harmful man, he's not going to cause harm to me.